A year-long series of KXAN investigations resulting in several bills filed by both parties aimed at reforming the Texas Medical Board. And tonight, investigator Matt Grant is taking a closer look at one of those bills. He looks at what it would do and why advocates say it will force the state to be more transparent when patients want to check up on their doctors. That's not going to fly, and I intend to do something about it. That was Democratic State Representative Julie Johnson almost a year ago, diagnosing the Texas Medical Board with a transparency problem. Her reaction following a series of KXAN investigations, which found dozens of doctors with medical licenses suspended, surrendered, or revoked in other states still practicing or able to in Texas, showing clean records on the TMB's website, despite state law requiring out-of-state disciplinary actions be public. My immediate reaction was, well, if the medical board isn't going to do on its own as a member of the legislature, I'm going to file a bill. This month, Johnson followed through on her promise filing House Bill 1998. If passed, it would require the TMB to search the National Practitioner Data Bank monthly, make public any disciplinary actions found, and prevent doctors who've had medical licenses revoked in other states from practicing in Texas. And that's a direct result of your reporting. Where Wendell is the executive director of Texas Watch, a nonpartisan nonprofit that advocates for patient safety. Your reporting has shined a light on critical problems at the Texas Medical Board right now. Wendell calls the proposals critical and says they would force the TMB to do its job better. Passing this legislation this session is a top priority for Texas Watch because it will protect patients all across our state. I'm extraordinarily pleased that uh, Representative Johnson is uh, addressing these issues. Dr. Robert Henderson agrees. He maimed people here. He killed Shelley Brennan by drilling through her vertebral artery. Portrayed in the Peacock miniseries Dr. Death, the Dallas spinal surgeon is responsible for helping stop Dr. Christopher Dunch, who was sentenced to life in prison after leaving more than 30 patients injured or dead. I've always fought for patients. I mean, that's why I went into medicine, was to help people. More than a decade after he first got involved in the Dunch case, Dr. Henderson says he's frustrated the system meant to protect patients allowed Dunch to keep practicing, transferring from hospital to hospital despite obvious red flags. We do need more effective protection for the public. So I think certainly those laws ought to be enhanced. They ought to be strengthened. One of Johnson's proposals would require hospitals report suspensions lasting 30 days or less to the National Practitioner Data Bank. The problem, though, is that by law, the data bank only collects disciplinary actions that are longer than 30 days. Johnson calls that a loophole and wants to close it on a state level, telling us in a statement that her bill is still in the beginning stages and will likely see several changes after debates and committee hearings, adding, I will continue working with stakeholders and advocates on the bill language and implementation to ensure patients are protected and that the TMB has necessary tools to properly oversee Texas doctors. We will, of course, continue tracking this bill's progress through this legislative session. Matt Grant, KXAN Investigates. All right, thank you, Matt. A spokesperson for the TMB would not comment on any legislative proposals, but said the board is happy to work with any member of the legislature to better serve Texans. And you can read Representative Johnson's bill on our website. Just look for the latest addition to our Still Practicing page, and that's under the Investigative tab at KXAN.com.